For news, unemployment in the Pittsburgh area falls slightly in February. In fact, the rate for the five-county region fell from 5.9% to 5.8%. Most of the job losses recorded were seasonal or expected for this time of year. Construction lost almost 2,000 jobs. Despite the drop, Pittsburgh's jobless rate has exceeded the national average for the past eight months. The feeble U.S. dollar has slipped to yet another record low today on the to Tokyo Stock Exchange. The new low was recorded when the dollar dipped to 84 yen in mid-afternoon trading, marking yet another post-World War II low. The dollar has now fallen some 3.5% against the yen this week alone, down more than 17% since the beginning of the year. The government is warning parents to be on the lookout for counterfeit Similac baby formula. Inspectors found cans of fake liquid Similac with iron in 16 states. Experts say it's easy to spot the counterfeit formula. There are two obvious ways that a consumer can easily identify the can that has the counterfeit label. The first is to look at the bottom of the can and check the batch code. The second is to take the label and peel it back. The counterfeit label is a paper label which is white on the back and has a fair amount of glue on it. The real Similac label is a plastic label and when it's peeled back, there's a foil backing on the back of the label. The FDA says the counterfeits contain other types of baby formula or outdated Similac. A healthy baby, as we know, starts in the womb of a healthy mom. And that's why Healthy Start and Allegheny County are pushing the importance of prenatal care so infants are born at normal weights. If the baby is very small, there are many complications, problems with the baby's brain, problem with the baby's intestinal system, problems with learning later on that can cause problems for the child, mm -hmm. problems with the baby's lungs. So a low birth weight baby is, is a baby that we would like to try and avoid for its problems later on if we can. Dr. Lorna Wilkerson is one of our guests on the Healthy Start Show, which airs Saturday afternoon at 3 on the Pittsburgh Cable News Channel with host Carmen Anderson and I. In Minneapolis, Minnesota, a surgeon who pioneered organ transplants has been indicted on charges he illegally marketed an experimental drug. The drug, anti-lymphocyte globulin, has allegedly contributed to nine deaths. Dr. John Nagerin and a former colleague are charged with marketing and selling this anti-rejection drug while hiding serious adverse reactions from patients. If convicted, the doctor faces up to 81 years in prison and more than a three million dollar fine. A familiar face takes part in environmental awareness. Find, Find out, out what it's all about just ahead. <laughs> Sorry about that. Plus two endangered animals make their debut at a popular zoo. Worried about the kind of environment our children will inherit? Well, awards were given to people who've made outstanding contributions to improving the quality of our environment. Our Peggy Finnegan was MC for the Three Rivers Environmental Awards Dinner. Those awards are sponsored by the Pennsylvania Environmental Council and Duquesne Light Company. And finally this noon, two rare animals that you'd normally associate with Australia popped up in, of all places, San Jose, California. The Parma Wallabies were born in Happy Hollow Zoo this week. That brings the U.S. population to about 72. The Parma Wallaby has been an endangered species since 1980. Oh, isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah. Wallabies and the wannabes. Our next full report tonight on Channel 11 News, first at 5, when you'll hear the 911 tape from a woman who called police after that small plane went down in Penn Township. I'm Della Cruz for Bill Cardell and the entire Channel 11 News team and Ron Jay. Have a good weekend. This has been a presentation of WPXI-TV, Channel 11 News. More news, more often.